assalamu alaikum uh, welcome to tech and talk and this is the second episode of asp.net mvc drop down um, videos last uh, episode we have seen that how we can populate the drop down uh, just by putting everything inside view so controller was pretty much empty and everything was on the view side in line inline code was implemented on the view and that code is posted in the repo you can see that uh, today we will see how we can pass data from controller to view uh, and it will render in this drop down uh, so there are further different ways uh, to pass data from controller to view but in this video we will be using uh, view pack and uh, we'll see another option as well uh, for that one just uh, watch the video till the end so for today's uh, video i will create another action we can name it public um, i action result and that would be controller to view like this and we want to return uh, return the view same way we can add a new view and that would also be an empty view and the name would be controller to view dot css html and just for the boilerplate code i can copy paste the last videos code here in the new view and uh, what we can do to differentiate we can remove the style part from there and uh, we can just do control s control to view and press control f5 so control to view now the drop down is here rendered and we will be changing that one as well uh and to proceed with this uh solution we can copy paste these items from here and we can put it here then we can create a new list for list is equal to new list um of selection Select item list, select list item I must have. And here we can put our items like this. Let me set the indentation. And here we can say view back dot. Um, trees is equal to list view bag is a dynamic object it, it can take anything any object from controller to view so we can do this here and we can copy these keywords and inside overview we can remove um this from here and we can use at the rate view back dot countries and uh, we can I guess um, cast it as as the uh, list of uh, select uh, list item That should be working. Uh, yeah, 
capture here. All right, let me press Control S and run this to see the changes. And uh, there will be no difference on the UI. Now we can say that all these options are coming from controller to view. So over logic is not there inside the view anymore. So we can prepare all list from uh, our controller and we can pass this through view back to our um, to overview. Another thing we can do is I think that is view data. So we can pass uh, the data from controller action to view from view data as well. The only difference between view data and view back is view back is dynamic and uh, for view data we have to use um, index like we are doing. I'm here passing a passing a key uh, to save and carry over list from action to view. So we can name it like again um, countries. Uh, just for the sake of this example, we can choose a different name. List of countries, and we can copy all this. Uh, string and here instead of view bag dot countries we can pass this view data and list of countries and we can just run the application and now if we see we can again see these um values in my drop down and if we go for you know again if we inspect we can see the different it's different properties it has id property and the country property and we can again uh, override this by using the same approach that we did last day um let me quickly open the UI and we can assign you know, these styles to the new list as well. Control S, um, Control F5, and Uh, we can now check the UI again here. There seems to be an extra basis. And then, yeah, so let me run control F5 and you can see the results. Yeah, again, same list here. We have achieved the same, you know, output by moving over logic, the list logic from view to action inside the controller. So that was the second, um, you know, um, second way to uh, implement the drop down. In that second way, there are two different ways using view bag and view data in next video we will explore the third way where we will be using drop down list for instead of drop down list and we'll see what is the main difference between these two so stay tuned keep watching in case of any question or query do ask in the comment section uh, till then the next video uh, take care and keep coding